At Torpies, we've been working on something new over the past few years. The introduction of a new material called Torpy Bamboo. We've been looking at utilising bamboo as a material for making better quality hurleys for the next generation. Torpy Hurleys started making hurleys on a commercial basis in 1981. Uh, it was a, a very rewarding job and I was lucky at the time to have some of the best hurlers from the country coming here for hurleys. And that was the most important part for me, it was seeing the kids coming uh, at five and six years of age with their daddies to buy their 22 inch hurley. Well, from the beginning, uh, we always tried to be forward thinking and innovative. And uh, in the 90s, ash was very scarce in this country. And we tried uh, other countries in Europe. And we, we found that in the Netherlands, the ash was good, as good as, uh, if not better, than it was here in our own country. And the proof of that is I'm 25 years there this year. And now we're starting into bamboo, which is a, a product that will keep Torpy hurlies moving forward. Hurling is in our blood, and uh, over a long number of years, you'd, you'd just, you would see how, how the game is changing, and you want to bring that to the game itself and bring your ideas to the game. So that's what we've always tried to do. That's what my father's always tried to do during his time with the business, and it's my turn now to try and come up with new things and take the company forward, and it's a, it's a great business to be part of. Hurling is a very traditional game, um, um, but we also need to innovate within that sport and within the game. We started to look at it and go, well, can we innovate without moving people too far away from their comfort zone? And from that then, we, we started looking at the, the bamboo engineer technology and we started looking at different ways of, of utilizing the material. With the Torpy Bamboo, we've tried to make a hurley that not only looks as good as an ash hurley, um, but also feels the same as any hurley ever did, sounds the same, uh, it works as good in wet conditions as in dry conditions, because a lot of other materials like plastics and polymer materials in the wet and dry conditions can be majorly different in terms of friction of the ball, and I suppose that's where our engineering background has come in here at Torpies, that we looked at sports engineering as the way forward. We want to be the standard bearers of hurley design in the sport going forward. We're more aware than anyone that you can do all the testing in, uh, in an academic environment as you like, but you know, the players really want to perform on the field. And you know, we sent this hurley out to numerous players at all levels over the last few years. And what they're telling us is that they're, you know, they're getting a, a lot more consistency in terms of their strike and a lot more distance to, to their strike. And also the feel, touch and control of the bamboo hurley is exactly the same, if not better, than an ash hurley. Sustainability is, is very important for Torpies and it should be for every, every um, customer of ours as well. And so we've, we've tried to look at bamboo. It, uh, it grows uh, five meters per year. Uh, it can be cut after five years renewably. Um, and I, so, I suppose we want to have as little impact on the environment as we can through hurling making and through the sport of hurling. Uh, and we find that Torpy bamboo is actually takes all boxes from a sustainability point of view and uh, we're looking forward to this introduction. Torpy Bamboo hasn't just been created overnight. We've been working on this for five to six years at least. Um, and uh, I suppose when the project started out initially, when we came across the material, we, we wondered what to call the project and we, we called it Ash 2.0. What can we make that is as good, if not better, than Ash? We decided to partner up with, with Loughborough University, get all of our independent testing done through their Sports Technology Institute. And in fairness, the guys over there have absolutely uh, took our material and uh, put it through the ringer um, to ensure that you know, the data that's coming out from there is, is informing us as to how to engineer the product in the best way possible. This is part of a suite of tests where we're looking at you know, characterising the existing Ash Hurley because that is the gold standard and then like um, trying to compare different products, different materials, you know, an Ash 2.0 looks very promising in terms of being able to give you a, you know, in some cases more consistent product, but a, a product that performs at an Ash level or possibly even slightly higher. 
we did a number of tests in, in Loughborough University in the Sports Technology Institute um, whereby we, we looked at robot testing, um, so repeatability of strike. We looked at then the, the area of strike of the ball and the impact of the ball on, on the box or head of the hurley. What's that doing to the hurley? For instance, in Ash, when the ball strikes the hurley at a high speed, it can fracture the hurley along the grain. But with the torpy bamboo, that actually doesn't happen. It can be struck all of the time as hard as you want and the ball won't break the hurley. We've done 3D motion analysis, looking at studying players' swing technique to understand is the weight of the hurley the proper weight so that they're making the correct connection with the ball. Some other materials offer higher flexibility, but do we want higher flexibility is the question we've asked, or do we want what's similar to ash? So we've tried to create a hurley from the bamboo engineered material that simulates the flexibility of ash, allowing that strike and that really excellent strike that you get from not every ash hurley, but from a lot of ash hurleys uh, to happen all of the time and in a more consistent basis. We tested against our own ash hurleys and we've done that under laboratory environments but we also tested against other competitor hurleys, more new modern hurleys that have come on the market in the last number of years. Then we've also found from some of our customer researches that 81% for instance of hurleys generally break along the grain with a normal ash hurley. With our hurley that won't happen because of the way it's engineered and constructed in the matrix formation but also giving the player that natural feel that they crave as well. We try to look at how the, how the laboratory testing works uh, and then what the customer wants as well. And that's something that's very important for the product. In most other sports, you get a product finished, you can never tailor that really afterwards. Um, whereas in hurling, that's actually very unique. We have to match a piece of wood to a person's taste all of the time. Um, and with the torpy bamboo, it means that we can actually be very consistent in the quality of material, but also give a specific weight of light feel, medium feel, um, and heavy feel and then the balance for that person is also in, in, incorporated into that. So that's why we're really excited about the product because it's one of the first times in our history that we've actually been able to say everybody gets the same thing but for what's right for them along the way as well and hopefully that will help them perform a, you know, a lot better and we'll see the standard of hurling even increasing further. We've been making hurlies for generations. We really feel like the Torpy Bamboo is the hurley for the next generation. It's been designed by sports engineers, it's been crafted by hurley makers, and it's been tested by some of the most experienced engineers in the world. Hurling is a traditional game, and we've been lucky enough to be part of that for a good few years. Um, we, but we, we know that Torpy Bamboo is going to be a massive part of hurling's future.